Yeah, Andy. Woo Andy, you did so great tonight. Oh. Thank you, thank you. Man, it was, was so much fun. fun. So we were at uh, this big advertising agency downtown, Wyden and Kennedy, and they had this event uh, talking uh, where they had guests in talking about innovation and stuff. And you played a whole bunch. You played Art Farmer's Flumpet tonight. Yes, what an honor. Thank yeah, you. unbelievable. Nice. So tell us about when you were at Berkeley and you won the Art Farmer Award. Oh, I, was, I guess that's an award that I don't know if they do it anymore, but it was something that they gave out every year to a, well, obviously to a trumpet player, and uh, I was lucky enough to receive it one year and it's just like just a little presentation and uh, it, was, it, was a, it was a great honor for me and they just asked me to write a little a little letter to art in appreciation which I did and uh, that's basically it not much more to it but it was it was a thrill nonetheless and, and uh, I still have it somewhere <laughs> you, mu you must have been playing great back then to get that award oh I don't I don't know I don't know I, um, All right. I was just I was just lucky to get it um, Wow. So for people that don't know you or don't know you're playing, um, just tell us a little bit about yourself. You started out, what, at 22? Your first gig was with Buddy Rich's band playing the jazz chair? Oh, uh, when I got out of Berkeley, yes. Yeah, yeah. Wow. What year was that? 1980. I'm, I'm sorry to say, 1983. Wow. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. All right. And since then, you've been all over the world, literally, playing all sorts of stuff. Tell us a little bit about what you've been doing since then. Uh, well, I mean, I've mostly been in New York and uh, just trying to stay busy like most musicians, trumpet players, etc., uh -huh. and um, trying to play as much good music as possible. Lately, I've been lucky enough to uh, be doing a uh, one of uh, Dr. Lonnie Smith's groups, which uh -huh. is just uh, in its beginning stages, and I've just recorded um, some uh, three nights of... Uh, live recording back in the spring and that'll be out on his own record label uh -huh. after the you know beginning of next year yeah and so you play uh, you play uh, the jazz book in the smoke big band in Marvel, manhattan yeah. monday nights yeah. mm -hmm. well actually just about everybody in that band solos don't yeah they? yeah just about everybody actually yeah. everybody <laughs> and you're uh, and seneca's on that band yes he is and I heard you guys a year ago, and it was just, it was as enjoyable a night listening to big band music as I have ever had, oh, ever. Oh, thank you, thank you. That's, was, that's, that's a very special band, and we have a lot of fun. Woo, man, it sure was. Let's see if we can get Jason to come in here and have Jason just describe this event a little bit tonight for folks. Just tell folks a little bit about what happened uh, uh, briefly and uh, what the event was all about. Uh, well, it's an event put on by Portland Monthly Magazine and OMSI, which is the Oregon Science M Museum of... Oregon Museum of Science and Industry. Yes. And uh, <clears throat> it was a, uh, a program of, of eight uh, innovators from the Portland area in various disciplines, uh, business, um, environmental technologies, uh, art, music, uh, mm -hmm. things, you know, uh, all, all different uh, things across the board. And it, they said it was narrowed down from a couple hundred candidates to eight that they featured at a... Uh, exhibit at the OMSI Museum and then at the two nights of, uh, of this event tonight, which they call Brainstorm. And uh... It was a pretty fun time. It was a very receptive audience. This happened at Wyden and Kennedy downtown, and it was a nice space for Andy and the guys to play in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was. The audience was very receptive. Yeah. This was very fun to do. Thank you guys both for the help tonight. And Andy, thank you. you got to get on a red eye. In about uh, 20 minutes, we're going to take you to the yes, airport, sir. and you're going to go home. <laughs> Can I Th take this with me? Uh, I wouldn't. On this trip, probably not, but <laughs> we would definitely want to have you back here to play a concert at the shop. You've got to come back and do a concert with these guys where you can really stretch out. I would love to. We'll have one of the new flugelhorns ready for you to play, and we'll, we'll go to town with some stuff. Wonderful. Andy, thank you so much. Congratulations you, on a great job tonight. Thank you. Andy Gravish. Thank you. Jason Gunderson.